Hey guys, I hope you had an amazing weekend. Today, we'll be taking a look at a few charts in preparation for the week ahead. If you love the content, please hit the like button, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comment section. So as usual, we're starting with gold. So this is the four hours chart on gold. Um, what we can see here is we had something similar to what we expected last week. So remember, this was our resistance level. So coming back um, from all the way uh, from these highs here. So we had a resistance level and we talked about waiting for a consolidation and a break of that consolidation before going long. So I'm going to go down to the lower time frame. So let's see, one hour time frame to see what happened this week. So um, we had price consolidation at this resistance level and we had a very good breakout which sent uh, price higher. So this was also as a result of the you know inflation data that came out on Friday or yeah on Thursday from the United States. So this led to a massive ride on gold. So right now gold seems to be very bullish and this is not the time to go short on gold. So what I'm watching out for is something like this. So a long scenario will be waiting for some sort of consolidation. So like a bullish flag to go long. So this is what I'll be watching out for to go long on gold. So you know me by now, this is how I trade. I wait for chart pattern signifying, you know, a potential move in our expected direction according to the trend. So this trend is clearly a bullish trend. So I'm going to get rid of some of these lines so we can see this clearly. So on a one hour time frame, this is a bullish trend on gold and this is my best case scenario to go long. So this consideration could be a um, ascending triangle it could be a bearish flag sorry a bullish flag it could be a symmetrical triangle so any chart pattern signifying a chance that we might be heading higher okay followed by a breakout of that chart pattern is what i watch out for to go long on gold as for short positions i wouldn't be going short right now because gold seems to be extremely bullish so if i wait for a consolidation like this and then a breakout my stop loss is going to be just below the consolidation and my take profit is going to be around this high. So I'm going to go down to the, so I'm going to go down to the four hours time frame. So if I should go long here, my take profit is going to be around these highs, dating back all the way to this level. Okay, so this highs here is going to be my target if we should get a consolidation like this. Or alternatively, we could target this highs here. So this is kind of like a liquidity level. Okay. So area of significant liquidity because we had this consolidation when we're coming back, uh, coming, you know, all the way down from this all time high. So I'm going to go into a trade here. If we get a consolidation and I'm going to target this range, take my profit, and that will be around approximately. Yeah. So approximately 250 pips profit to 300 pips profit. So that would be a good trade. So this is what I'll be watching out to go long on gold. Other than this, I'm just going to watch to see what the market does. So moving on, GBB USD. So real quick, we talked about a possibility of, you know, GBB USD breaking this resistance level and retesting. So we did get that. And now we seem to be gearing up for some massive move. So for GBUSD, I'm going to go down to the lower time frame. So one hour time frame. I'm going to watch out for a break of this resistance level to go long. So this this one is kind of like a risky trade, but I think if we have a good risk management, we can take advantage of this trade. So you see, we had a breakout from this support level. Sorry, from this resistance level. Then we had a retest. So we failed to close below. Okay, so this seems like a very valuable area of value so if i go long above this new resistance level so let's say for example we get some you know sort of breakout from this level my stop loss is going to be below this consideration yes this is going to be a very wide stop loss okay i'm doing i'm going to do this because i would like to give the trade enough room to run so this since this is our next significant area of value and candles haven't closed below this level since we broke out then this would be our logical level to set a stop loss. So I'm going to check how many pips that's going to be. So this would be so a breakout. So this would be approximately 180 pips um, stop loss. But on the bright side, if we get that breakout and let's say for example, even if we you know um, get some sort of consolidation, maybe back below here, we will still be in a safe zone as far as price does not come below this area of value. And my take profit level is just going to, my first take profit level is going to be these highs. Then I'm going to trail the other positions as we move higher because this is going to be 
you know price discovery since we are taking out these highs so the first take profit target is going to be around let's see so around 180 pips so just like our stop loss so it matches uh, the risk meanwhile the other positions will be held as we move higher so moving on i'm going to take a look at usd jpy so this is a US, usd jpy chart on the six hours time frame this is clearly a bearish trend you can see price making series of lower highs and lower lows so like i said in our previous analysis last week i do not like to struggle with charts so whenever i see a chart it doesn't look good i just skip those charts okay so if i don't get any good chart for the week i simply stay away from the market so try to adopt this um you know um this strategy it will help you a lot okay try not to struggle with charts as you can see usjpy six hours charts you can see series of you know uh bearish continuation pattern so you can see after we broke this level we had a retest we had a bearish continuation pattern so like a bearish flag we had a breakout now we had another retest of this area of value so this seems to be a very good area of value now we had a consolidation okay so this is kind of like a bearish continuation pattern from this bearish move and we had a bearish breakout so i'm going to go down to the lower time frame so let's see two hours time frame so i'm going to watch out for something similar to play out for me to go short so this is simply price action so because this has happened before there's a good chance it's going to happen again okay so what i'm going to watch out for is something like this so i'm going to watch out for a consolidation and a bearish breakout in the direction of this price movement for me to go short i wouldn't be longing usdjpy okay this is just a no-brainer you don't go long on this kind of chart even if you get a setup saying you can go long personally i wouldn't go long because those you know uh, bullish price movement could be short lived at any time because this is clearly a bearish trend so i'm going to watch out for something like this to go short now note that this pattern here that i'm watching out for might not play out as it has played out before so my the point here is waiting for a bearish continuation chart pattern so it might take a day it might take two days it might take a while for those patterns to be formed for me to take advantage of this price movement but for the but the idea here is waiting for a bearish continuation pattern so it could be a rectangle it could be a descending triangle it could be a symmetrical triangle whichever pattern i get to signify that we're going lower that's what i'm going to watch out for for me to go short okay i wouldn't be going long on usjpy okay this is just a no-brainer and this is a clean clear chart so something like this so no matter what the pattern is as far as it signifies that price is going lower then i'm going to go short so this is my brief outlook for usjpy moving on aud usd right so we also talked about the possibility of breaking this resistance level and this past week we did break the level we had a retest and now we are currently trading above that breakout so this is also similar to what we have on GBUSD. so i'm going to go down to the lower time frame so let's see so for aud usd i'm going to you know uh, go long when we break out from this consolidation right and my stop loss is going to be below this area of value so if we measure this um uh price range let's say we break out this level then stop loss is going to be around 150 pips so remember guys low risk good uh risk to uh, risk management okay depending on your account size and i'm going to go into this trade so you don't have to go into this trade if the risk is too much for you so i'm going to go long at the break of this level and i'm going to set my stop loss below this area of value and my first target is going to be around these highs here as you can see i've marked this out with a blue line so i'm going to measure what this take profit is going to be like so this will be approximately 130 pips good for me okay but i don't think we are going to come below this area of value till we get to these highs meanwhile anything is possible in the forex market okay so this is not a guarantee that i'm going to end up in profit okay but it looks good to me that going into a trade at the break of these highs so if you take a look at uh, this price level you can see we have something like this right so this is also an area of value to watch out for so now i'm just going to watch out for something like this right because we are currently consolidating around these highs here so this is the last high before we had this massive move to the downside so i'm going to watch out for something like this maybe a bit of a consolidation and a breakout okay so this is the breakout i'm talking about so i'm going to watch out for a breakout like this for me to go long so if we get a very good consolidation i might not have to use this level as my stop loss so my stop loss would have to be around 
this price level below the consolidation to give me a tighter risk to reward ratio right so this is what i'm going to watch out for to go long so i think this is what i'm going to do rather than taking a huge risk at putting my stop loss here so i'm going to wait for a good consolidation then i'm going to put my stop loss at the lows of that consolidation then i'm going to go long on the breakout so this is also a bullish pattern as you can see we are having kind of like a v shape reversal pattern okay so we have a bearish move some kind of like um this kind of like an inverse head and shoulder but not a very clean one a breakout consolidation and now we're going higher so something else to also take note of is we have a trend here so there's a possibility of price reversals from this level so this is the line i'm going to get rid of some of these lines so my point is clear enough so i'm going to get rid of these lines so if you are trading a breakout from that level you should take note of this trend line so there's a good chance we get a breakout okay and we test this trend line and fall back to this area of value so this is something to watch out for okay so you can if you take a look at my chart i don't have the rosi below right now that's because i'm not paying attention to the rosi so if not i would have been checking out for divergence but i have somewhere to be so i really don't have much time so that's why i'm you know making this quick analysis to give you an overview of what i'm expecting to play out this coming week so on your own try to pull up the rsi too and make sure you check out for divergence okay divergence can save you a lot of money by preventing you from entry bad trades okay so that's it briefly for aud usd moving on btc usd so this is a very you know interesting chart so we've been in this massive bearish move on uh bitcoin so this is a one day chart and you can see we seem to have broken out from this um uh, falling wedge so i'm going to go down to the lower time frame so let's try uh let's see the four hours time frame so on the four hours time frame you can see this is a clean breakout from this uh falling wedge right but right now we are currently contending with these highs so i'm going to mark this out on the chart so we're currently contending with these highs so if we take out these highs then i think we are going to head higher for bitcoin but I wouldn't be excited yet because we have been, uh, seems like we have been rejected at this high. So if we get a good consolidation, so for those who are the trading Bitcoin, so I'm going to wait for some sort of good consolidation, okay, and a breakout. So if we get a good consolidation and break out from that consolidation, breaking these highs, that would be a scenario to go long for a quick buy trade on Bitcoin, aiming for these highs, yeah. So that's my brief analysis of Bitcoin. I won't be going short right now because this looks bullish in the short term. Okay. Then moving on, lastly, we're going to talk about natural gas. I talked about natural gas last week. And, you know, I uh, talked about how this chart looks so nice with this bearish continuation pattern on natural gas. And last week we had this consolidation, we had a breakout, and I took a very good trade here. Now we seem to have broken this support level, this area of value. Um, currently at this low so what i'm going to watch out for is some sort of consolidation okay around this level and then a bearish breakout for me to go short in continuation of the trend so that's it briefly for this week's analysis um if um you have questions guys use the question section down below and i will try as much as possible to respond as soon as i can okay check out our instagram page we've got lots of amazing content there okay we do all this ama every week so try to follow us on instagram ask questions okay engage with the community okay there's no harm in asking questions i will try as much as possible to respond as fast as i can meanwhile if you love the content hit the like button subscribe share with friends that's it from me this week i'm going to see you next sunday